Hey everyone, Phil here at Core Performance with a quick note before we start the video. This video is going to be slightly different from our other Insights videos, where our previous Insights videos were designed for individual end users. This video is intended for businesses and institutions looking to protect their valued team members from the harmful and productivity sapping effects of their environment. We've procured the most relevant products in their class and run them through our battery of objective empirical tests to equip you and your team with the data you need to make the best decision for your organization. With this in mind, we still implore individuals to put this data to use for their own purchasing needs. Without further delay, let's get started. Welcome to Core Performance Insights. Today, we'll be comparing two classes of safety vests, conventional cooling and consumable thermoregulation. The conventional cooling safety vests are the top three best-selling options available on Amazon. And the consumable thermoregulation vests are from the Core Performance Safety Collection. We've consolidated empirical data in this comprehensive video to save you time and effort in your research process. While this video is designed for enterprise-level decision makers, anyone looking for personal cooling and heating solutions can benefit from the data presented here. For those of you who are new to Core Performance, we live for building a superhuman future. This means we help customers be the greatest version of themselves and do so by creating competitive advantages where none previously existed. To accomplish this, we design, build, and manufacture thermoregulation and hydration solutions that weaponize temperature to improve performance and survivability for a wide range of end users. Our clientele include U.S. and allied militaries, law enforcement, prepared citizens, pilots, outdoor enthusiasts, and numerous well-known and beloved American companies. You might have even encountered a few of our products while waiting in the drive through line of your preferred coffee or fried chicken establishment. As individuals, teams, and enterprises face record temperatures, tools for preventing heat-related injuries are an increasingly critical investment. With conditions now frequently in the 90s or warmer right through September, cities like Los Angeles, Phoenix, Dallas, Atlanta, and Miami could underestimate the potential for heat injuries later in the year. With much of the southern United States staying hot later than traditionally expected, both worker health and team productivity are at risk. So, what are the most popular options available for those looking to stay safe in extreme weather? First up, from the conventional cooling vest group is the FlexiFreeze Ice Vest, utilizing FlexiFreeze freezable ice sheets, cooled by 96 pure water ice cubes, totaling 56 fluid ounces in weight. Next up is the Wild New Ways Cooling Vest, with six waterproof pockets on the interior to house their included ice packs. The vest places four of these on the user's back and one on either side of the torso. The vest comes with 24 13.53 fluid ounce ice packs, 12 water-filled ice packs, and 12 water-absorbing ice packs. Last up, from the cooling vests available on Amazon, is the NJDGF Cooling Safety Vest. Much like the Wild New Ways vest, the NJDGF also uses a six pocket design for the same 13.53 fluid ounce packs with almost identical pocket placement. For the consumable thermoregulation vest category, we'll start with Ice Vest High Vis Class 2 Type R. Ice Vest High Vis Class 2 utilizes two of our ice plate curves as the cooling battery, each containing 50 fluid ounces or 1.5 liters of water that can be frozen for cooling, filled with hot water for heating in the winter, and provides hydration via the Source 90 drink tube. This can be scaled down to a cooling and heating only setup if hydration does not suit your use case. Ice plate curves conformal geometry matches modern allied military armor plates, which fit the front and back of 80% of the US. US population. Next up is the Ice Plate XO SLK, which also uses Ice Plate Curve, as do all of our vests, with the SLK using one ice plate on the front and one on the back. SLK is engineered using the same Ice Plate XO laminate found on the eponymous ultralight minimalist plate carrier we build for elite military and law enforcement users for durability. SLK is optimized for intense athletic movement, but remains comfortable for all day wear. The black colorway was selected by Dutch Bros Coffee Arizona for ease of maintenance and care. The final product we'll be comparing today is the Ice Plate XO SLK High Viz. As the name suggests, SLK is constructed from proprietary High Viz laminate alongside a reflective trim. SLK High Viz is up for comparison to the standard SLK due to minor weight and material differences, and for the sake of maximum transparency and objectivity. Next, we're going to get into materials. The materials used in cooling vests will impact several components of performance, namely durability, water retention, and insulation. Starting with the FlexiFreeze cooling vest, we have a mostly neoprene and ripstop construction with shock cord, nylon, mesh, and SBS zippers also in use. The YL New Ways is made from polyester, cotton, unbranded hook and loop, unknown zippers, reflective fabric, and elastic. The NJ DGF High Viz cooling vest is built from polyester, unbranded hook and loop, and an unknown zipper. Moving on to the Core Performance Consumable Thermoregulation Vest. The Ice Vest High Viz Class 2 is constructed from structural polyester mesh, reflective trim, hook and loop, and ITW Nexus mil-spec nylon hardware. 
Iceplate XO SLK is built from Iceplate XO waterproof laminate, flat woven elastic, genuine Velcro, and ITW Nexus mil spec nylon hardware. Finally, Iceplate XO SLK High Viz is built from High Viz waterproof laminate, flat woven nylon, genuine 3M Scotch Light reflective trim genuine Velcro, and ITW Nexus mil-spec nylon hardware. Moving right along, we have dry weight. Weight is an important category because other than the environment, almost no external factor affects human performance more than weight. Every ounce added to the body is additional energy spent to move and carry out tasks. Famously, Nike co-founder Bill Bowerman incorporated this concept into the development of running shoes, figuring out that just one ounce removed from a shoe's weight would save 55 pounds of lift over the course of one mile. Keeping this in mind, we can begin to factor in the trade-offs between weight and cooling capability. After weighing the cooling vest dry with just the vest and then with their various cooling elements, we can see how they compare without external factors like water weight from rain, etc. The lightest vest by itself is the Iceplate XO SLK at 14.55 ounces, with the heaviest being a tie between the FlexiFreeze cooling vest and IceVest HiViz Class 2 at 20.80 ounces. IceVest HiViz Class 2 surface area is determined by OSHA ANSI safety compliance. With our cooling elements in our dry vest, the lightest is the FlexiFreeze at 62 total ounces, and the heaviest is the Ice Vest High Viz Class 2 at 148.30 ounces. Now we've covered dry weight, moving on to wet weight. So how do the cooling vests stack up after taking on water weight from rain or heavy sweat? Our method for measuring wet weight consists of soaking the vest for an hour, letting them hang dry for 60 seconds, and then taking their weight. Without cooling elements in the wet vest, Iceplate XO SLK comes out on top at 21.90 ounces, thanks to the hydrophobic laminate, and FlexiFreeze struggles to shed wet weight, coming in at 35 ounces. FlexiFreeze, however, makes up for this with the cooling elements in, coming out on top at a wet weight of 76.20 ounces, thanks to the lightweight freeze panels it utilizes. The ANSI compliant Ice Vest High Viz Class 2 comes in with the heaviest wet weight at 162 ounces. However, the differentiating factor between the cooling vests and consumable thermoregulation vests is static weight versus dynamic weight. While cooling vests will weigh the same no matter what, the consumable thermoregulation vests provide hydration and will become lighter as the user drinks from them. Thermal transmittance. The goal of this test is to determine the amount of cooling power each vest generates while being worn. In order to calculate that, we used Fourier's law of thermal conduction. Using Fourier's law, we determined that joules per second, aka watts, generated by the cooling elements melting against the human body and measuring the time each vest takes to expend all cooling power. As a disclaimer, all tests were conducted inside our studio with changes in temperature between 77 and 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This variance in temperature does impact the results. This manifested in a maximum of 5 tenths of a degree in temperature difference. In contrast with our indoor testing, use outdoors will mean a shorter time to deplete your cooling elements compared to the indoor environment of our studio due to direct sun exposure. To obtain the total cooling power behind each vest, we need to solve for two unknown variables left in the equation, heat transfer, Q, and the thermal conductivity coefficient specific to the material vest, K. Using the specific heat of fusion, we can break down Q into this equation, where we use the properties of ice to determine the heat transfer. One of these being the time it takes for the ice to melt. Once this variable is measured from our test, we can solve for the thermal conductivity coefficient of each vest. Then, we were able to determine the aforementioned rate of thermal energy transfer per second and the total energy capacity of the cooling element until depleted. To simulate the cooling vests expending their energy on the human body, we place the various cooling elements in their respective vests on a proxy human torso. This torso was filled with water and warmed via heating rod to 97 degrees Fahrenheit. We then timed how long it took for the ice in the various cooling elements to melt. For the nerds out there, after the full breakdown on the science behind this, check out our accompanying blog article in the show notes. Otherwise, here are our findings. Starting with joules per second, or watts, the average cooling power each vest is putting out per second, the FlexiFreeze comes out with 59.59 joules per second. The weakest output came from the NJDGF cooling vest at 25.13 joules per second. This was caused primarily by the looseness of the vest, which provided poor thermal conductivity between the cooling vest and the body. Interestingly, the YL New Ways vest, which uses the exact same cooling element, six frozen 400 milliliter ice packs, positioned in the same spots on the body, performed at 55.63 joules per second. The vest can be tightened for better conduction between the ice packs and the torso. While the core performance cooling vests all shared the same mass of ice and cooling element in the ice plate curve, the vests offered up variability in construction, thickness, and materials. This gave us different cooling power per second with 50.04 for the Ice Vest High Vis Class 2, 48.27 for the Ice Plate XO SLK, and 41.57 for Ice Plate XO SLK High Vis. 
The really interesting data comes when we move from the average joules per second to the total amount of energy transferred over time. Despite providing the highest joules per second, the FlexiFreeze lost cooling power the quickest with a total joules over time of 427,521.32. This was followed by matching results between the YL Newways and NJDGF cooling vests of 562,290.73 joules over time. This result might be surprising despite the vastly different times the cooling power was expended over. But with the cooling element being the same size, the energy output was ultimately the same. The core performance cooling vests varied in joules per second and time for the ice plate curves to melt, but over time all generated very close results. IceFest Hivis Class 2 produced 944,688.51 joules over time, IcePlate XO SLK 946,879.55, and SLK Hivis 910,423.34. With a pair of ice plate curves having the largest mass of ice, we get the largest potential for cooling energy conduction before the cooling elements are exhausted. Moving into unique features, there are important differences between cooling vests and consumable thermoregulation vests. Out of the cooling vests available on Amazon, the NJDGF is the only vest that seeks to do more than simply cool the wearer. Featuring three pockets on the front to allow limited hands-free carry of items. By contrast, the ice plate curve provides cooling, heating, and hydration, reducing the risk of temperature-related injuries. Other cooling elements do not have this ability. When seasons change from warm to cold weather, instead of freezing ice plate, hot water can be added to keep warm in the winter. In a busy work environment, modularity of equipment can be a game changer. The ability to add complementary items to a cooling vest can greatly improve the efficiency of the wearer. The top Amazon cooling vests are not modular. The FlexiFreeze does utilize internal hook and loop for swapping out the FlexiFreeze ice sheet panels. This could allow for future alternative panels to be added, but currently none are on offer. By comparison, Core Performance Vests feature swift clip attachment points across the Ice Vest High Viz Class 2, Ice Plate XO SLK, and Ice Plate XO SLK High Viz. This allows for the addition of the Ice Case iPad cooling case via the Ice Case Strap Kit. This carry method keeps the ice case positioned on the body for maximum productivity, efficiency, and security without the tangling, neck chafing, or bouncing associated with shoulder straps. For further load bearing capability, the Iceplate XO SLK and SLK High Viz utilize the Swift Clips and lower Velcro field to secure Iceplate XO Molly placards. This military style attachment system allows for pouches and other items to be woven onto or otherwise attached to the vest, perfect for keeping tools accessible. When load bearing capabilities are not needed, the Molly placard unclips and detaches from the Velcro ready whenever you need it again. If additional storage capability is needed, our upcoming cache management pouch, aka the CMP, or other Velcro attached hanger pouches can mount to the lower Velcro panel of the Ice Vest, High Viz Class 2, SLK, and SLK High Viz. How well do these vests adjust for size? People vary greatly in size, and for those investing in cooling vests, for a team, a readily adjustable solution is key. So how do the cooling vests fare with sizing adjustability? The FlexiFreeze is advertised as one size fits most, adjustable from XS to 6XX. They further state that the vest is adjustable in four locations, allowing for a snug fit from sizes XS to 6X. The vest uses a shock cord lace system on the side for adjustment. The YL Newways cooling vest has six points of adjustability via unbranded hook and loop straps, one for each shoulder and two on each side of the vest. The shoulder strap allows for 7.5 total inches of adjustability and the side straps 9 total inches of adjustability. The NJDGF cooling vest has no adjustment. With the size simply listed as eh, medium, the vest is 25.5 inches long and 45.7 inches around the waist. It should be noted that the lack of adjustability does pose an issue for achieving proper thermal conductivity between the wearer's body and the cooling elements. IceFest High Viz Class 2 comes in two sizes, fits most and extended for 45 plus inch waist. The shoulder straps offer four inches of adjustability and the side straps feature a wide range of adjustability depending where on the rear Velcro they are initially attached. IceBlade XO SLK in both black and high viz utilize adjustable Velcro shoulder straps and elastic side straps for a wide range of adjustability. Designed for mass adoption by enterprise such as Dutch Bros Coffee, the Iceplate XO SLK vest can conform to just about any body shape. Now, you may be wondering, core performance, where do these vests come from? What is their country of origin, if you will? To many, country of origin is an afterthought, but to the conscious consumer, at the individual and enterprise level, it is a major point of consideration. Where your equipment is manufactured can factor into quality, safety, and supply reliability, as we saw during the pandemic. China, for example, is a prolific user of forced and child labor, as per the Bureau of International Labor Affairs. Link for more information on that available in the description down below. Starting with the FlexiFreeze. The product page on Amazon states, made in the USA, 
and imported. This contrasts with the label you'll see on the interior of the vest once it arrives that specifies the vest itself is made in China, while only the ice packs are made in the USA. The YL New Ways Cooling Vest product page states the country of origin as China. The NJ DGF Cooling Safety Vest also states on the product page that its country of origin is China. As for the consumable thermoregulation options, the Ice Vest High Viz Class 2 is assembled in the US and built from Pakistani materials. For full transparency on our imported materials, click the link in the show notes below. Iceplate Dexo SLK and High Viz SLK, along with Iceplate Curve, are all produced in the USA from US materials at our Knoxville, Tennessee HQ. Yet another variable to consider in your purchasing options is price. With the topic of price comes the nuance of quality, craftsmanship, innovation, value, etc. to consider. From lowest to highest cost, as of the publishing of this video, Wild New Ways Cooling Vest is the cheapest option at $29.99. The next lowest is the NJDGF cooling vest at $36.99, followed by the Flexi Freeze at $99.99 for the Velcro version and $129.99 for the zipper variant. The consumable thermoregulation vests start at $230 for the Ice Vest High Viz Class 2 for the cooling warming variant and $260 to optimize with hydration capability. The Ice Plate XO SLK and SLK High Viz are both priced at $300 for the cooling warming variant and $335 with hydration. For large volume purchases, click the link below for details on the Enterprise Purchasing Program. A final category unique to safety products is uniformity. How effectively can these cooling vests conform to teams and enterprises seeking to maintain standards of professionalism? The majority of the torso is typically concealed by most vests, which hide any logos, branding, or company colors on shirts. The FlexiFreeze vest offers little in the way of uniform compatibility. Available only in blue, with a Flexi Freeze logo visible on the bottom left-hand side of the vest. Moving on to the Wild New Ways vest, we have a solid blue color with a reflective trim and a dominant Wild New Ways brand logo on the left-hand side of the chest. The NJ DGF vest is the first of the conventional cooling options to feature any space for branding, with a small clear left-hand side chest pocket for name tags or a company logo. This vest also comes in a high-vis safety yellow color, an already widely accepted sight across many industries and companies. Ice Vest High Viz Class 2 has a front facing genuine Velcro panel on the chest for branding carried over from the military collection. Velcro patches can be used successfully by our enterprise customers, such as Dutch Bros Coffee, to showcase their branding on top of cooling vests. Ice Plate XO SLK and SLK High Viz both feature front and back Velcro panels for branded patch placement, while also obscuring much less of an individual's uniform should they be wearing one. This maximizes uniformity without sacrificing consumable thermoregulation capability. This is all we have for now on the two categories of safety vests for 2023, conventional cooling and consumable thermoregulation. Based on the data we presented in this video, we'd love to know which one of these safety vest options suits you and your team's needs the best. Are there any other cooling vests we should cover in a future video? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow us on IG via at core performance and subscribe to our launchpad emails to keep up with the latest in all aspect thermoregulation. Until next time, stay frosty.